Uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you. I think this is a very exciting to be here, uh, time to be here at MIT. Um, I want to speak about two themes, uh, accessibility and quality and learning. Um, and for me, MIT was one of the most affordable options you know, when looking at which school to select. And I think it's uh, you know, through the, the generosity of the folks at MIT that I'm able to be here, um, not just today, but these four years. And I think we can do this very well at MIT for about 1,200 people a year. But how do we scale this? And with you know, looking nationally at education with the uh, rising cost, and are we getting to a tipping point where people might not be getting value out of um, education? And then I think it's, we should be able to ask, are there able opportunities for more uh, economies of scale? Uh, and then even internationally, where people have little to no access, I think it's even more critical that we find ways where we can bring education uh, to people and help them expand their skills in a way that's uh, where we can reach as many people as possible. And I think with MITx and the other initiatives, we have a great opportunity to change that. But on campus, um, we have a different issue. We have uh, opportunities, further opportunities to increase learning of our students. Um, you know, career fairs today, MIT students do very well at um, these things. Uh, I think last year, you know, most number of companies ever at their career fair. So it's really, you know, can we further increase quality in learning? And, you know, there are aspects of online education, like the instant feedback. I was working up till 5 a.m. last, uh, the night before, um, working on a 6858 piece set, looking for that, you know, not green check mark, but those green letters pass on the black background, right? Uh, can I get that, can I get this uh, particular buffer overflow to work and delete the file, you know, as, um, as expected? Opportunities for greater collaboration, for greater personalization. People come to MIT, all types of backgrounds. Can we get them up to speed and give the people who need extra help the extra help they need um, and then uh, provide the extra challenge for those who are ready? And provide this basic learning ground uh, so that we can do these very individualized experiences that were, you heard from earlier about, like 2009 or D-Lab. And you know, doing this online stuff is hard, and that's why I'm really excited that MIT is providing this platform, providing this opportunity as an institution to have these uh, set of technologies through edX and set of best practices through Teaching and Learning Lab and through others that we're able to take uh, best practices and iterate them over the long run. Some of my best, my favorite courses at MIT have been the largest ones. And that might sound counterintuitive, you know, we, we always hear about smaller classes, but the larger ones really build up best practices every semester, they're tweaked slightly, and they're very effective at delivering information. So I think with this, on, uh, with MITx, we're able to combine the two. We're able to have the economies of scale that we can educate these thousands, hundreds of thousands of people around the world, and that we're able to offer additional experiences to the people who are on campus right now. It can't, you know, we said early on, it can't be separate. Uh, MITx can't be the separate department that has its own faculty, that does its own thing. It really has to be an integrated part of the campus. So um, I think we're at a very exciting time in MIT's history. Thank you.